What is up, everybody? Welcome to The Watch. This is episode four, and we are going to chat about a uh, wonderful weekend of testing. We're also going to talk about some of Jeff Kaplan's uh, responses uh, on Facebook and all over the internet. He was talking about the beta test weekend. But guys, I'm not alone. Uh, on the other side of the world, well... He's like a state or two away. Uh, is is the Gooch, ladies and gentlemen, and he is joining us tonight. Gooch, how are you, my friend? I am wonderful. It's the day before Thanksgiving for those American friends. For others who are not from America, look it up. Uh, <laughs> look it I've up. played. I've pretty much streamed Overwatch all day. Yes, you have. Uh, and uh, it's it's been a good time, man. It's an it's an exciting time to be a gamer, especially if you're one of the fortunate people in Overwatch. It really is. And Overwatch is. I jumped in with a, cu uh, a couple games this afternoon. And uh, had an absolute blast. So much fun playing with people. Uh, it's great to play alone, but if you get into a group where two or three people are, are yeah. uh, playing with you and you guys can communicate, it just it brings a whole different level uh, can, to the game. Can I just start the show with something that I really want to show off? Uh, I, I know what it is. I'm going to say yes because it's beautiful. So yes, <laughs> show it off. Just show it I, off. Uh, I bought this thing like two months ago, and I literally thought that it just like wasn't ever going to show up. Like, after a month of it not showing up, and I, I no notification of delivery and whatnot, I was like, you know what? I guess I'm not getting it. Like, I'll get over it, right? So as you know, Tracer's my favorite hero. Or not you know that, for the, right, the masses. If you haven't watched The Watch before, then you know that Tracer's my... Er, now you know that Tracer's my favorite hero. And uh, this is... This is incredible. It's much bigger than I thought it was going to be. But uh, it's a giant, badass poster of Tracer herself. It's and beautiful. It's awesome. That's a and good poster. I absolutely love it. My fiance even likes it. How crazy is that? That's so insane. She, she's going to let you hang it then? We'll see. Because <laughs> I've got a lot of posters my wife likes as well. Uh, but if you can see the wall behind me, they're not on the wall. She likes the way they look, just not when they're hanging up. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you, my man. So tell me about uh, your week in Overwatch, dude. Uh, I saw some incredible cues of the game today uh, during oh, the dude. stream. But uh, how was your week playing? Did you find anything fun? Any new bugs? Because it is technically beta. And we're supposed to be testing, not just having fun. Any, That's right. Anything strange you ran into while playing this week? Um, I didn't know this, but in uh, King's Row, Farah can get outside. If you're attacking and you're spawning before the game starts, Farah can actually get out of the spawn point. Oh. I didn't know that. I, I was playing with my brother. You weren't in that game. I was playing with my brother. And we're sitting there waiting for the game to be set up, and all of a sudden, rockets start hitting all of us. And we're like, oh, so that, that, that definitely took us by surprise. It was really, at first I was really angry, but then I'm like, wait, it's just, it's beta, it's who beta. cares? Right. So I started laughing about it. Uh, that's probably the funniest one I've seen. I've Did definitely, you figure out how to do it? Uh, no, I didn't even ask, because I, I don't even want to tempt myself with that, man. I don't even right. want to attempt myself with that. But uh, other than that, uh, it's mostly just the... A lot of client lag on Blizzard's end, yes. which gets re when you play heroes like Genji and Tracer, which are probably the, my two most played heroes right now. Those small little like quarter of a second, half a second delays in where you think you are compared to where the enemy sees you, compared to where their bullets are heading you, is game breaking sometimes, and yeah. it's really really frustrating. But I know it's beta that there's some optimization and obviously server issue not server issues but optimization with the servers and whatnot yeah. so i'm sure that'll be fixed in the future stuff that'll be worked out yeah um, exactly and it's been genji a lot of genji today what did you did you notice we talked about the uh, change to his dash ability mm -hmm. uh is it stronger now or do you miss the dot i actually kind of do miss the dot sometimes um, I feel like, again, it doing more damage up front enables it to have more uptime when you're chain killing people. Right. But chain killing Genji, I don't know if this is simply because I'm not good at uh, uh, good enough at him yet to use this as optimally as possible. Uh, but I feel like there wasn't really many opportunities to chain kill people. It was mostly just like 1v1 scenarios where the dot would have been a little bit better. Right. But it's it's uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of undetermined on it. I still think he's still... He's still very, very strong. Yeah. As far as a play style on him, I tried playing him like Tracer, going in the back lines, flanking, killing supports like that. I, again, it, me personally, with my play style, I didn't think he. Uh, I just, maybe I'm just not good enough here. 
but uh, it didn't seem to be uh, he wasn't as effective at that as he was like a tracer right uh, obviously so i'm still figuring out his play style where he uh, you know succeeds the most in what areas defending what points right. and what bottlenecks and things like that i like him in a i like him in a heads up personally where i can see them and i can make sure i can get the most use out of his deflectability mm -hmm. uh, but he, he is he's definitely a blast dude i have been addicted to uh reinhardt and winston man winston mm -hmm. i was kind of like meh winston's meh and the more i play him i'm like holy crap winston is a god he's direct counter to reinhardt uh he's an incredible counter to bastion um yep. he, he can jump on top of Widowmakers like yep. nobody's business i've been having yep. a lot of fun with the ape uh and destroying his ultimate I feel like his ultimate's a little bit lacking. It's great I agree. for like capture points, and you can knock people off and get like that clutch capture, but it doesn't do enough damage. It's like six or seven hits before you can kill yeah. even squishies. Um, they need to tune up the damage quite a bit on that, I think. But uh, but overall, Winston and Reinhardt right now have just been my my top two heroes. Uh, I definitely like the the warrior roles. I play them in Heroes. I play them in World of Warcraft. So I'm, I'm really enjoying uh, those two heroes. But guys, we do have a. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say a lot to talk about. Uh, so the beta test that happened this weekend, and 129 years worth of gameplay was logged <laughs> sure. over the weekend. It's like one million plus hours, or they, they they put out the numbers. It's 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 insane. I know I played a lot. I know you played a lot. But yes. 129 years, were you expecting a number that large? It, it all depends on how many people actually were invited to it, correlated right. to how long that was. But still, that's an absurd number nonetheless. And obviously, Blizzard's not going to give that information out. They're very secretive right. about how many people are or are not invited to the beta. I know it seemed like a, most of my friends list were invited. Same. Uh, there was so a lot. I feel like, anecdotally, it was a large amount of people that were invited into the stress test this weekend. Yeah. Uh, but either way you look at it, 128 years, that's, uh, I mean, that's two lifetimes. Yeah. That means literally we all got together and spent two lifetimes playing Overwatch together, which is a magnificent thing. It's fantastic. And uh, I can't wait for the next stress, stress test. You know, I had a lot of fun um, playing with people who had never played FPSs or the people that's like, I'm not really good at an FPS, but I loved Mercy or I loved yeah. Lucio. I felt like I was bringing something to the team. Um, and I think that's what makes this game so unique is that you have people who don't play this genre, they don't play this type of game, but they get in and they feel like they can do something. They feel like they're bringing something to the table. Uh, and I thought that was great. Um, but we did get a lot of data out of there. We also had mm -hmm. uh, Jeff Kaplan brought out some... Uh, he, he was responding to like tweets and stuff on, on the internet. One thing that has me concerned, and this for me is probably the biggest reason I want to talk about Jeff Kaplan's answers, is ranked play. And that ranked play may not make the launch of the game. And it's something they'll focus on after the launch. That has me incredibly concerned as somebody who plays first-person first shooters, as somebody who's played them at a high uh, level, you know, tournaments and whatnot, that in this day and age, it's 2015, 2016 in a month, folks, we have a first-person shooter oh coming way. out. I know. We have a, a first-person shooter coming out that doesn't have ranked play at launch. Yeah. That's concerning to me. What What are your thoughts on that, Gooch? My first thought is, why not? Like, right. it doesn't seem like that it would be difficult to put the infrastructure required to have ranked play in, uh, you know, league. I mean, maybe not even necessary leagues, but uh, it, it doesn't even seem that difficult to implement a game. I don't know. I'm not a program. I'm not a uh, computer science major, but it just seems like it wouldn't be that difficult. If it is, then I eat, I'm eating my own words. Right. But it seems like, in the, as you mentioned, to, re to repeat what you said, in this day and age, a first-person shooter, a, a team-based first-person, what we what some people call arcade shooter like this, right. uh, not having ranked play seems inexcusable. Uh, I think that it would be really not a good idea, especially since this game has apparently been in development for so long. Right. It certainly feels like that because how polished it is. Right. But I think that would definitely be a big disservice to this title as if there was no ranked play. I mean, but at the same time, matchmaking there's hidden matchmaking rating in the game already. So his statement kind of seems to contradict where the flow of beta is going right, right. now in the sense that they're... I mean, in the uh, Jeff Kaplan, he, he released that video on the Overwatch YouTube channel 
uh, kind of like as an update as like you know the way things are going and whatnot. Right. He even said that they're doing a lot of behind the scenes things with with MMR. Why would you be doing a lot of behind the scenes things with MMR unless you were going to implement a ring system? Right. So that se- they, he seems like he's making contradictory statements there. So I don't know if maybe he got a little confused or whatnot. Hopefully, I mean, and time will tell. But I feel like that Blizzard is intelligent, and I think there will be a rank system come release. Uh, at least that's what I'm so. hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Yeah, fingers crossed. I mean, you have. I know uh, Overwatch is currently hiring for somebody to be head of the Overwatch esports division. Um, I'm going to apply for that. So, I mean, you, you, they're, they're, Shit. They're, <laughs> they're moving towards esports. They're moving towards a competitive scene. I feel like at the, at the launch of this game, you have to have something in place. Now, I say this knowing what we've gone through with Heroes of the Storm and beta testing their rank system for almost two years now. And I don't want anything like that to occur. Right. But I think not having it, again, in this type of game at launch is kind of going to hurt... Um, sales. Uh, it's definitely going to hurt the esports yeah. side of it. I think. Um, mm-hmm. Agreed. And, and I'm mean, hoping they. I'm hoping they figure it out. I really want. I really want rank play. It needs to be figured out. Anytime there's a title where the rank system is either a not there, which is very far few between. Right. Um. So that's not really a good example. But or anytime the rank system is not optimized to where the community is even slightly okay with it. Right. Then there's a correlation of that game's player base diminishes substantially. Right. Obviously, I, Heroes of the Storm, at least, uh, again, anecdotally, I haven't played in a long time because here, I don't even enjoy the game anymore because, because of how rank. poor the rank system is in that game. Blizzard's track record for making ranked games was really good with StarCraft. Their leagues, right. their, their ladder system was great. You know, people use that as a judge of skill. Obviously not at the very, very high end, but... Right. Uh, you know, if you were Grandmaster, people were like, oh, wow, you were really good. And here's the storm. If you're ranked one, there's a huge discrepancy between a ranked one player here and there. There's there's ranked one players that are just yeah. not that good. They're OK. They get a fundamental grasp of the game. There's right. ranked one players who are on cloud nine. Right. You know what I mean? There's exactly. no just there's no di- differential there. Um, so I hope Blizzard gets a little bit uh, gets back on track with putting focus into ranked play. Just because I, I really, they, they have good examples and they have bad examples. Yeah. And there's a middle road, and I hopefully they at least hit that middle road with Overwatch. With all, this, with all the energy and time that they're putting into Overwatch and marketing it and everything, I feel like it would be silly not to implement something right, like that. Right. Some of the other changes was the tab screen, hitting tab, and it popping up and showing you who's alive and dead. And they're going to fix it, folks. So you're no longer going to be taken out of combat to see if all of your team is alive. We're hopefully going to get that kill feed we talked about last week. Yes. Uh, which is needed. I, I don't know how many times I'm hitting tab um, while playing. I all just, the, I'm hitting it probably like once every five seconds. Yeah, you want to like see it's who's become out. this like subconscious thing where I'm just like bloop 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 yeah. bloop all the time just to kind of see who teams who, you know who's dead on my team who's dead on, and it is really clunky and I'm glad that they're fixing it. Right. I'm so very is, glad. That they're fixing it. That is a change coming. We don't know when it's going to happen, but it is going to happen. Um, there's a couple other responses. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a huge week for news, guys. We're still in beta. You know, we, we got a Reddit post, and the Gooch told me to let it go, but I'm going to bring it up. We got a Reddit post that said, there's no content in our show. Go. Folks, it's three weeks. The game has been out for three weeks. We're going on four weeks here. We're not coming out with tons of updates. We're trying to get content in and this is this is what we're working with right now um you know we can sit here and speculate all day long what we want to see mm-hmm. what's going to happen we'll talk about data mine stuff guys let's talk about data mine stuff gooch you know if you walk up to the wall and you hit the t button a fancy little overwatch is spray painted on the wall you've seen it correct i have it's beautiful it's super nice they it's just, a lovely logo they just data mined may's brand new sprays and genji's brand new sprays uh which i'm hoping we see really soon and I kind of want to know, how do we unlock these? How do we get these? Is this uh, microtransactions? Fingers crossed that's not. Or do you unlock them for doing special things? I think it'll be a progression thing. I don't think it'll yeah. be microtransactions. I don't. I, I certainly hope that microtransactions are not on the horizon with this title, right. seeing it how the mo- the pay model is. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe Blizzard's going to go full you know, new territory and do something like that. We'll see. But I think it's going to be progressions, man. It's, especially because they're hero-based. Like, right. if they were overall, like, oh, buy this one and you can use it on all of your heroes, you know, like a little tent with a cross through it, like <laughs> dating back all the way back to original Counter-Strike, the, you know, right. um, something like that. 
Unless it's trademarked. I wonder if that image is trademarked. I don't know. That'd be interesting. If that person who made that should have trademarked that, that'd be really rich right now. <laughs> I just realized that. Anyways, um, or copyrighted it, whatever. But I think because it's hero specific, I th that leads me to believe it'll be hero progression. Kind of like, you know, the uh, Heroes of the Storm where you get levels by winning and getting, killing stuff. And right. I'm, I'm fairly confident it'll be progression. Right. So this week, again, guys, it's been a very short news week. We are doing the show live for the first time. So all of you, those of you watching on Twitch, thank you guys so much for uh, watching and hanging out. You guys are fantastic. Um, and for those of you on YouTube, you are equally as fantastic. Yes, you guys. Those are the people I was getting to. You YouTube <laughs> folks catching us on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching us on YouTube. Uh, we are going to be doing a short episode this week. But right after this podcast, to those of you on Twitch, the Gooch and I are going to be playing some games. Hopefully mm. we'll get some recorded footage to uh, to put up on the YouTubes as well. Uh, if you guys want any more content, if you guys have any ideas for content, I know we're working on the top five plays, we're working on character overviews, and map overviews is also something we're going to be working on very soon. Um, we just have to mm -hmm. figure it out real life. It is the holiday season, the Gooch and I have families. Mm -hmm. um, but that's all stuff we're going to be working on. So, Gooch, it is a short episode, so we're going to end it here. Tell everybody where they can find your beautiful face on the interwebs, my friend. Uh, you can find me on Twitter, at Shane Goocher. You can find me on Twitch, at Shane Goocher Gaming. Uh, and, of course, I have a YouTube, but I don't really update it. So, unless you want to go see me cast Heroes of the Storm games that are, like, three months old, yeah, go check out my YouTube. Do that. Sure. <laughs> um, other than that, man, uh, I've been getting with ZP and casting a lot. Yes. Uh, and that's pretty cool. There's, uh, I'm sure some, her I'm sure, I'm very confident that there's some tournaments in the making. Very confident. Yes. That there's some tournaments in the making with, uh, with some prize pools on the line. I don't know. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. It's we'll just see. all speculation. <laughs> Who knows? Or it isn't speculation. <laughs> uh, I feel like so. it's not speculation, like at all. Like you just. I totally it. speculation. <laughs> So uh, the future's bright, of course. This yes. title still has a lot of hype on it, man. And we're just going to continue to provide what we can. Again, guys, to echo what Notch said, right now the show is literally just Notch and I shooting the shit, yep. having a good time, talking about uh, whatever we want to talk about, and maybe enlightening those about subjects that you didn't know about before related to Overwatch. But uh, there will be significantly more content coming up. Uh, we have some people working on some stuff behind the scenes. Unfortunately, some of those people have been ill, and haven't yes. been able to work on it, so it's delayed a little bit, but I guarantee you we're setting up for some cool things that I cannot wait. I, I don't want to talk about it until it's official. I don't want to say something is happening and then it not happen. So yeah. I'm still not going to mention exactly what it is until we know 100% it's happening. It's huge, though. It's so huge. It's, it's yeah. It's, Every uh, time it's you really bring this cool. up, Gooch, I want to talk about it. I want to say... I feel like EG because it's like the announcement <laughs> of the announcement right now. You know what I mean? But I guarantee you it's not fake hype. If, if this comes to pass, which is a... It, it, it will be. It's just a matter of time of when. Right. It's going to be uh, really, really good for the community as yes, a whole. Yes, as a whole. Uh, so, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys can find me six nights a week, twitch.tv slash another notch. You guys can find me on Twitter at Notchblades Games. You guys can also find me co-hosting a little Heroes of the Storm podcast called Stormcast. Gooch is giving everybody eyes right now, and I don't know if I should be turned on or should continue to ramble. Um, you guys can also find me on Stormcast at stormcastshow.com. And uh, on the YouTubes, at Another Notch Gaming, where we'll be uploading this live. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this YouTube video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Hit that, sub <laughs> hit that sub button. And you guys are all super fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great night, and we will see you next time in-game, folks. Uh, have a good one, everybody.